So in today's video, we're gonna talk about left-hand pentatonic comping. How do those awesome fourth voicings you'll hear, especially from someone like McCoy Tyner and many players after that, Chick Corea as well, how do those work? How can we practice them? And how do they integrate with the right-hand pentatonic improvisation and licks? That's what we're going over in today's video. But really quick, if you're new to the channel, please consider clicking the subscribe button so you don't miss any more lessons just like this one. Also, super quick and very exciting announcement, the keyboard that I am currently playing for this entire video is called the Piano de Voyage. And this is a completely modular piano that breaks into four pieces that fit in your backpack. I love this thing so much that I have actually teamed up with Rhyme Music to be giving away one of these Piano de Voyages completely free to one lucky subscriber. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is make sure you're subscribed to the channel and leave some kind of a thoughtful comment below about the video material. That could be a question or some other thoughtful comment about what I'm actually speaking about in the video. The contest will be running right up until the channel hits 100K subscribers. As soon as that happens, a winner will be chosen completely randomly. So be sure you're paying attention to your YouTube notifications because I will be responding directly to your comment to let you know if you have won. Also want to expressly state that YouTube is not in any way liable or affiliated with this contest, but I highly recommend that you check out the full guidelines in the description below to make sure that you are doing everything you need to enter the contest correctly. Also, if you just want to learn a bit more about this keyboard, I actually did a full review video that you can check out right here. All right, let's dive right into the lesson. Now, if you didn't check out the last lesson about forming pentatonic licks, I highly recommend you do. I'll be sure to link that in the description and up there in the video. But today, let's start by looking at the left hand and what's going on here. So we're in an F blues. Let's just start by looking at an F dominant chord, maybe an F 13. Of course, the classic McCoy Tyner thing to do here is to slam a fifth in the left hand and then play chords. But really awesome pattern we can do here is the classic fourth voicing, a voicing built in literal fourths. So F to B flat is a fourth, B flat to E flat. So this really gives us the sound of, you know, F sus, because we've literally got one sus four flat seven, right? One, four, flat seven. If we play a three in the right hand, it really sounds like a dominant sus sound. And if we're gonna go down, we can go back to our classic F13 chord here. So we got flat seven, three, 13. So what we're gonna do here to make these voicings work and have lots of material in the left hand is we're gonna move them up the F dominant scale. So one, two, three, four, five, six, flat seven, right? And that's our F dominant or F mixolydian scale. So we're gonna take this voicing, move each note to the next possible note in that scale. So remember, the only flat notes we have are B flat and E flat. So these two notes are going to move up to those two. And suddenly we've got all of this nice fourth bass material. Awesome. Now, of course, last time we talked about licks, where we'll take the F. A uh, dominant pentatonic scale. And then move up to the uh, G flat dominant. So we're gonna actually do the same thing with the left hand. Okay, so we've got F dominant. Well, you can practice the same thing with that G flat dominant scale. So if you're moving between F dominant pentatonic and G flat dominant pentatonic, you can do the same thing with your left hand. Let's try that one more time. And this is the basis of our left and right hand put together for advanced pentatonic melodic improvisation in jazz piano. 
All right, thank you so much for watching today, everybody. I really, really appreciate it. Again, if you enjoyed the video, please consider hitting that like button. Really helps me out, and I really appreciate you doing that and watching. And also, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. I got lots more lessons like this rolling out quite frequently. All right, thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.